are now. Welcome back to the Brentford Career Mode. It's me, Dan, back again. And today we will be... Uh, I think we'll be going to be playing the Man United game, if I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing the Man United game. And I think... I don't think we'll be playing that Man City game. I think I might save that for next week, as we do have Norwich and uh, Spurs there as well. Um, so we might do a two games in that episode, I think, uh, next week. Uh, so just before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently. And I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers for subscribing. So thank you guys for that as well. Um, so we do have Brighton up first. Um, we did get Tielemans back last episode as well. Um, so he's gone straight back into the first team. And uh, yeah, so we just need to get our, you know, get one of our... If we can get you know, a youth uh, player in who can play for Madison there, that would be great. Um, in that second team, that would be great. And then we can maybe, like, uh, do training on him and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Brian, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Brian, first team. Um, so, can we start off with a victory against Brian? Um so yeah, we're gonna see. I did look at the uh, uh, youth report just a minute ago, and we still have that other guy that we left um, recently as well. Anyway, uh, talking of the game, Rodrigo scores and Richarlison scores a penalty, so it's three nil. Benarama came on as well, so he's scored. Um, it was two nil, but then they went three nil, obviously. Uh, and Richarlison scored again, so it's four nil. So yeah, uh, we'll definitely take that against Brian. Um, so there we are. So we are currently still top of the league. I don't know how we're still top of the league. Um, I know we have got a really good first team, but blimey. Um, we'll have to look at that. Oh, there we go. So monthly scouting report. So let's look at that. So can we have a look at... The oh, we'll definitely have a look at this guy. Tommy Garlick Galloway. Um, we'll definitely keep him. This guy will reject. Uh, this guy, I think... We shall reject him because he's more of a player. Tarkowski, yeah, let's reject him as well. Uh, he's more of a winger, isn't he? So let's reject him. This guy's 50. No. And uh, so, so, Sully Suarez. Hmm, that's a bit of a, uh, bit of a conundrum. But yeah. Oh, did we just get rid of that other guy? Oh, we did, didn't we? Damn it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but Tommy Galloway would definitely keep. Hopefully, he's not a centre back. Um, it looks like he's a good player. Seventy-one to ninety-five. So if we can keep him, that would be great. Um, anyway, uh, let's keep going. So we've got Aston Villa up next, in which we shall put the second team out against Aston Villa, because I want to save that first team for that Man United game. So can we beat Aston Villa? Oh, Wesley picked up a red card straight away in the third minute. So they're down to 10 men. So that's good for us. And Ollie Watkins has scored. So that's 1 0. Can we get a second goal? So then we can cement our place in this game as winners. Uh, no goals yet. Come on, let's get that second goal because I can feel an equaliser coming on for Aston Villa. Or not. So we'll take that. So 1 0 victory. Watkins with the only goal of the game. Um, so there we are. We beat Aston Villa. Um, right, and Didi, he's moaning. You still have your place. Uh, and I'm proud of you, Ollie Watkins. Right, anyway, uh, let's advance towards that Manchester United game. And we have picked up an, a training injury. Who's that? Ooh, Eggerstein for two months. Oh my days. Um, okay, so fix the problem. Right, so Eggerstein. So we only just got back Tielemans, and now Eggerstein's out for two months. Ah, oh, great. Um, Nathan Lars after just cuffed to come in, wouldn't he? We ain't got many centre midfielders now. Um, McKenney's only asked back up centre midfielder. So we definitely need a, uh, we definitely need a... A uh, player who can go there, so we'd just have to play Tielemans, wouldn't we? And then Digny will have to play there, or someone, and then Didi. We just have to watch out for that, select that as favourite. Um, okay, so he's out for two months, so blimey. Uh, who have we got? 
I think Bardi, I think Bardi might be coming back soon, actually. He's back in eight weeks, and he's out for two months. So, yeah, basically the same. Eight weeks, two months. Oh, injuries. Centre midfielders for the injuries. Yeah, we definitely have to watch out for that. Uh, it can go either way. Little t title tilt. Uh, yeah, you know, we're still at the top. I don't know how we're still at the top, but... We did lose our first game last uh, last episode as well against Wolves. But um, anyway, we got Man United at home. Uh, it's a first versus second uh, game. So we have to definitely play this one. Um, yep, everything looks fine. So let's get into it. Let's play match then, shall we? Oh, what a goal. Bruno Fernandes. 1-0. Man United. Um, it's just from a free kick. I normally get a pass on the line, but I forgot, totally forgot. <laughs> oh, it was a good free kick, no doubt about it. We didn't even jump either. Goalkeeper almost got there. It's a good goal from Bruno Fernandes. Why didn't I jump? If we jumped, we they wouldn't have scored that. Right. So that's 1 0 Man United. That's been coming though. Bruno Fernandes with the goal. Ah, oh, it's gone in. It's Matic, I think. 2 0. It's took a deflection. Crossing comes in. We clear it. Yes, yeah, deflection off, um, off Tielemans. It's the deflection off Tielemans. Puts it past the goalkeeper. And that is 2-0. That is a really bad goal to concede as well. Right before our time. 2-0. Oh, mate. Oh, that's a great ball towards Rodrigo. Oh, great cut inside. Lays it off to Richardson. Yes. It's a trap, but it's a sweaty goal, but we'll take it. It's 2-1. We're back in it. We've been much better second half. Really much better. <laughs> Brandon Williams slips. And it's a trap, but we'll take that. It's Richardson's first goal in the game. Beats De Gea. And that is 2-1. We're back in it. Come on, let's see if we can get an equaliser. Oh, it's a great through ball towards Richarlison. Surely Richarlison. Richarlison, yes. 2-2. Two, two. Great through ball. Richarlison gets the second goal of the game. It's 2-2. Two, two. We'll definitely take that now. If we can get a win, I'll be very, very surprised. But what a through ball that is from Vinicius. Great through ball. I thought we ever touched it there. But he puts it past De Gea. Over his leg. And we've got the equaliser. We was 2-0 down at half time. We've come back and scored two goals. Yep. We'll definitely take that. 2-2. Two -two. Let's see if we can get a winner. And there's full time. And we have beaten... Uh, no, we haven't beaten Man United. We've drew with Man United. 2-2. Two -two. Um, at half time I was thinking the worst. But thank God... We've scored them two goals with Richarlison. I know the first one was a sweaty goal, but the second one, that was a pretty good goal from Richarlison. And we will definitely take that. Um, so, yeah. So, let's look at the match highlights. Um, let's see if we can see the match highlights. All right. So, Strakosha makes a couple good saves in the first half. Uh, Dan James with the first shot. And then second time, I think it's... Bruno Fernandes, yes, uh, Martial. And Strakosha makes a good save with his leg. And I think it hits the post and goes out for a corner. And then indeed he picked up a yellow card, uh, which is fine. And then Bruno Fernandes, yeah, good goal from Bruno Fernandes. And then Matic scored. Half to half time, David De Gea makes a save. Good ball in. And it this time it is Rodrigo with the header. 
would have been preferred if it was uh, Richarlison, but Rodrigo come off that right hand side and David De Gea makes a good save. And then David De Gea also makes another good save. This time from Madison, I think. Goes near post, is unlucky. And then obviously Richarlison gets his two goals. So yeah, pretty even game, 2 2. Yeah, pretty even. They had much more percent possession, which is fine, but we had eight shots, six on target. They had six shots, five on target. Um, we'll definitely take that. Definitely take a point. Um, it was unlucky that we didn't... Uh, we just didn't start well, did we? You know, we got that first goal. Uh, they got their first goal through a free kick, and then second goal came from uh, deflection as well. So, that's just unlucky. Um, great performance from Richardson. And um, Brentford, yeah, luck is part of it, yeah. Um, right, so, uh, Stokosha, thanks for listening. Uh, I'm proud of you, Stokosha, even though you conceded two goals. <laughs> oh, well, uh, right, so now we do have Bournemouth, so let's advance towards that game. We shall put the second team in for that Bournemouth game. hudson Adoy. Uh yep, you will be playing, mate. And let's sim game against Bournemouth and hopefully get a victory so can we beat Bournemouth come on let's get a result against Bournemouth hudson Adoy he wanted to play and he scores so that's 1-0 uh, so we've got a great start to the game can we get a second goal can we get a second goal please Charleston comes on oh Stacy gets an equaliser so it's 1-1 don't draw against Bournemouth. Oh, we got very lucky there. Jinchek uh, missed a penalty. Missed a penalty for Bournemouth, and could have been very close there. But we'll take a point in the end. Uh, but we've got two draws there, um, so that's fine. And actually, that's not too bad actually, because we're still level on points with Man City. But we're just unlucky. We're just unlucky uh, in that. Um, right, Hudson Adoy, influential performance. And Kimbebe that says, thanks for putting me back in. No problem, mate. Um, right, so let's just advance towards this Man City game. And then we shall end the episode there, I think. As next week, we shall be putting... Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, that's about because we put the second team in, didn't we? Put the first team back in. Um, yeah, so next week we will be playing the Man City game and the uh, Spurs game. And then we'll probably uh, look at going into the transfer window i think so yeah uh so anyway guys i think i'm actually gonna end it here so please like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys next time so right i'm going bye